It's official, Zhao Gomez has been freed and he has joined Wolverhampton Wanderers today, guys. A huge sign-in for Wolves, something that has been coming and brewing probably for the last sort of two weeks or so. Uh, but it's fantastic that it has finally been confirmed and completed. Today we're going to be talking about Zhao Gomez, uh, have a look at obviously some of the quotes and what's been said about him as, as well. But... Like I said, guys, this has been going on for a while now. It seems like forever, but it was a few weeks ago where Brazilian journalist Vene Casagrande had uh, confirmed that Wolves were very, very close to signing uh, João Gomes, the midfielder from Flamengo. We waited a few more days, and the reason for the delay was that French club Lyon had attempted to hijack the deal. Now, Lyon had offered apparently more money and uh, a higher... Uh, fee for Zhao Gomez. So, of course, Flamengo, despite having an agreement with Wolves, were more tempted by that offer. It had been strung out for a while, but Zhao Gomez always had one thing on his mind, and that was that he wanted to stick to his word and join Wolves and obviously come to the Premier League. So, it took a while, but Flamengo finally realised they had to sort of appreciate um, what the player wanted, and that's what has happened in the end. Uh, we even saw the, the Leon owner take to Twitter on Friday and he said it was too late for Jao Gomez. All my powers of persuasion could not alter this young man's sense of honour. He gave his word to Wolves and won't deviate. I'm disappointed but so impressed by a gracious young man with an incredible future. Bon chance, Jao. And uh, that says it all really. That's why I think a lot of fans are really excited to see what this young, talented player can bring to the club because it's been a strung out process, but he's shown some real commitment um, and passion for wanting to join Wolverhampton Wanderers, which you obviously don't get much in, in football anymore. Um, so Gomez is join, joining the club on a five and a half year deal with the club holding an, addition, an option of an additional year as well. Uh, from what we understand, the details on the fee are around 18.7 million euros in an initial fee, an additional 1.5 million euros in add-ons, and Flamengo will get 10% of any sell-on fee if that were to happen. Um, but yeah, really fantastic announcement videos, as you would expect by Wolves. The whole hashtag free uh, Zhao Gomez movement has been in full swing. Um, really took off a week or so ago and I saw people getting involved in it. And Wolves really took advantage of that for their announcement video. If you haven't already caught it, definitely worth, worth uh, checking out. Some great cameos in there as well. Um, and, and some nice little bits and pieces. Uh, but he's here, obviously he flew to England uh, yesterday, had all his uh, images done yesterday, and um, uh, had obviously his medical, so just waiting for that work permit and international clearance, which you would uh, be expect that to uh, to happen. And fingers crossed we see him in the squad for next week's game uh, against Liverpool. Been some great uh, quotes on him uh, that you could check out. Uh, let's look at what Matt Hobbs has had to say uh, first. He said, what, what's what been great was that it wasn't a player Eulen was aware of himself before coming here. When we were talking about other players, we put him in as a player we liked. So we went away to watch his games and loved him. So was pushed from that minute. He's been key in driving it. It was a player he wanted to bring in. And when he speaks to them, he's phenomenal. The way he talks with passion, passion he's already got for the football club. This is a guy who's worked at some of the biggest clubs in the world. But the way he talks about our club, it makes you want to sign on the same call. He also said it feels like it's been forever, even though it's only been a couple of weeks. In truth, it started back in August 2021 when our scouting coordinator, Elliot Suffcliffe, was covering South America at the time. When he first saw him from the first view and he said he was one to keep an eye on with an interesting profile, we've watched all his games since and got in touch with his agent in the last window to see what the situation was. So he's always been a player on our list who we'd like to sign at some stage. Wolves also got the views of Vene Casagrande, the journalist that has been pretty much in the middle of this transfer saga, reporting uh, on it. A lot of people would have been keeping up with his tweets and so on to see what was going on. Um, there was a, a, a time Vene Casagrande thought, obviously, that Zhao Gomez would be going to Leon. He thought it was very unlikely that Gomez was going to join Wolves and 
of course, things change quite quickly on that front. But Wolves got his thoughts as well to find out what sort of player Zhao is. And he said he's a midfielder with initial characteristics of marking, but with time and experience, he learned to be a midfielder who plays as well. He improved the attack with intelligent passes. Another factor that draws attention to Zhao is his physical form. The youngster is rarely injured, hardly shows physical exhaustion, and manages to support a strong routine of games in the season. Physical form and marking, tackling are his main strengths, but he also evolved the arrival to the attack and he's been doing the work box to box. The football he presents is something very similar to Douglas Luiz from Aston Villa. He also has the same style as Andre from Fluminense in Brazil. They are very similar characteristics. Casa Grande also finished off by saying Zhao in the future will make history in the Brazilian national team. He's a strong candidate to be the starting midfielder of the Brazilian national team in the next World Cup. I'm sure Wolves fans will fall in love with this young Brazilian. But Zhao Gomez officially uh, a new Wolves player now. Like I said, it's been it feels like it's been a long time coming, but it's it's finally here, right at the uh, end of the transfer window. You would expect now this is the last and final transfer for Wolves this January window. It has been uh, a success for in my eyes. The one thing that may be missing is a striker, but it sounds like Lopetegui's happy and satisfied with what he's got in those attacking departments uh, for this season at least. Um, but who knows, if the right player crops up, we may well see a little, bit a little bit of drama on the final day of the window. But guys, do let me know your thoughts on the signing of Zhao Gomez. Be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you all next time.